below. Coach John here to help you win today with forgiveness. Have you ever been betrayed by someone you trusted? Betrayal from those we trust hurts the worst. Especially difficult are those times when betrayal comes from those in our own family. There's a story in the Bible of a young man who felt that exact betrayal. In fact, not only was he betrayed by his brothers, they originally planned to kill him. Eventually, they end up selling him to be a slave. This young man is transported far from home and he is resold in a foreign country. There, he starts to do well for himself and he rises in favor and responsibility and from all appearances begins to be comfortable right up until he is betrayed again. His master's wife tries to seduce him and when he refuses, she lies about it. The young man is thrown into prison. In prison, he begins to help others and is soon put in charge of virtually everything. He meets two men who got in trouble with the ruler and he helps them out. All he asks is to be remembered. He is promptly forgotten. Eventually, this young man ends up helping out the ruler of the country and landing in a position of vast power. That is when our story takes a very interesting turn. The young man's brothers, the ones who betrayed him, end up coming to buy food in the country he is now second in command of. Through a series of events, he tests them and then reveals himself to them. You can imagine their shock and dismay at learning they are under the power of the brother they betrayed. They assume that he is going to get revenge. Instead, listen to what he says, Genesis 50, verse 20. As for you, you meant evil against me, but God meant it for good, to bring it about that many people should be kept alive as they are today. Our young man was named Joseph. He plays a central role in delivering God's people from famine. Notice that Joseph's focus is on God. When someone sins against us, when we are betrayed, we have a choice to make. Will we focus on what was done, on the person who wronged us, or will we focus on God? Even the difficulties and trials of our lives have a purpose in God's plan. That truth doesn't make betrayal any easier to bear. However, it does make it possible to forgive. The question we have to answer is this, where will we choose to focus? Will we focus on the offense? That will only lead to bitterness and anger. Or will we focus on God, trusting that He has a plan and purpose and will work all things together for His glory and our good? Joseph endured betrayal after betrayal, trial after trial, but he did not lose sight of God. When the time came and his brothers were in his power, Joseph chose forgiveness. I believe that he was only able to choose forgiveness because he had chosen to focus on God. When we understand that God is in control, that He is at work in the midst of our trials, we are able to forgive. I don't know what you are going through right now, but I do know this. God is right there with you. Our loving, gracious, and merciful Heavenly Father is right there with you. He knows what has been done to you. He knows the trials you face. He is there. Because God is at work in your life, you can choose forgiveness. So, make that choice and win today.